Wow. So, uh, a collector's box. And, uh, I guess, I guess the price isn't going down. Um, okay. All right. Well, that's just, uh, interestingly awkward. All right. So, welcome back, everybody. My name is Timmy. I work for Dr. Emporiums. And today, we're doing two collector box openings from a patron, Cameron H., and unlike, I guess, the news of the week for these collector boxes is, um, everybody was, all oh, they're gonna tank back, they're gonna be like the Theros 2.0, they're gonna tank down to oblivion, and it doesn't seem to be happening. So, again, trying to break the future just doesn't always work, everybody. We got the maneuver for Commander, giant Rudy the Turtle coming through with the Raptor from Jurassic Park Part 2. We got our beautiful looking, uh, I don't even know what you would call me. Comic book cards. Mythic tracking number one. And Mr. Caesar coming through here for these. I tell you what, like I told you guys before, these prices on these things and these things need to come down a lot, or the box price needs to go up a lot. Because the market is still not in equilibrium. So one of the two things have to adjust. Nice looking dredge. Nice looking mythos as always. Okay, so seriously, Cameron, you got like a turtle thing going on. What's with the turtles? Okay. Box Stopper Turtle. Creepy Alien 2 Monster Man. Coming through with a Dirge Ding Batman. And goodness gracious, that's what I'm saying. Like, look at the prices of these, like, Godzilla mythic foil full Montes. And, you know, the prices aren't dropping as much as I thought they would, which is very strange. I don't know if it's just slow to react. I don't know if the supply is just really is that low. I'm not really sure. Triome number one. I, know, I don't even recognize the regular ones. We're so used to the exotic art. Kind of crazy, isn't it? All right, here we got ourselves Mr. Phoenix coming through with the same Caesar, just this time, non-foil. All right, so turtles in each pack and the same Godzilla. That's kind of strange. So that's kind of the most important discussion right now I've been watching is the, the pricing. I'm trying to figure out, are the singles going to tank a lot or is the giant kitty cat going to hold firm, and the box price is going to go up. Here we go here, another epic looking apex of thunder over here for the Dino Kitty Cat Mythic. Holy smokes, King Caesar again. Wow, what's with these, uh, oh, eh, never mind, whatever. And holy smokes, a Triome, a Full Monty. God, look at that. That pack is ridiculous. That was like a double Mythic Full Art Triome Kitty. Like, some of these packs are absurd. Like, they're just, like, the pools are just unreal. Refractor, very cool commander card. Uh, Wellspring, Rudy the Elk. Rudy's Octopus on a Wednesday afternoon. We got old Cloud Piercer and this and that. Another Mr. Ding Batman. And we got Baby Godzilla from the 90s sitcom and the creepy-looking awesome artwork. So I'm telling you guys, the prices are strangely holding up on this. And that's really not... I got that wrong. I thought for sure these prices would level out like Theros and Throne did, but... Titan's Nest, a nice looking, beautiful, beautiful looking ultimatum. Love those artwork on those ultimatums. Very, very cool. I don't know what the deal is. And same thing with these Triomes. The pull rate on these things is nuts. Nice looking Doom Inevitable. So here we are halfway through the box. Four Mythics, three Triomes right now. But I cannot believe how, and I don't know if the, cause I have a hard time believing people are playing with all these different Godzilla cards. So I think it's more just, are people collecting them? Are there just not enough supply on the market so the price is holding? Not really sure. Death's Oasis for the foil rare. Coming through, here we go. Another Triome action. Full art Triome. And what is, okay, this is a weird box. Each two packs in a row, we're getting one of the foil, one of the non-foil. Um, we're getting some very strange non-randomized packs in this particular box. That's kind of uh, kind of on the awkward side. Not really sure what the deal is with that. All right, Marshall. Song of Creation. Love that. Love that artwork. Old Man Rudy here coming through. We got uh, Great Horn, and uh, here we go. Okay, first Planeswalker. Copper Coat. Very, very cool looking art there, everybody. For uh, We'll put you in the mythic land. And we got Perfect Life Form. Very cool Phoenix Godzilla artwork. And, but yeah, he... <laughs> I, these these are overpriced, I guess. I keep saying that, but the prices aren't dropping. So now I'm thinking the boxes are just underpriced. <clears throat> nice staff. Mythos, very nice. Ooh, very beautiful looking crystalline giant. Very cool box topper there, everybody. So, and here we go again. The card doesn't even look like I'm flipping magic card. The old Apex Man, Baby Dino, and Dream. So, that's why I said we're having a tug of war right now between... 
the sealed box price needs to reinflate higher in price to 250 to 300 or the cards within the box need to go down. Fierce Guardianship. So uh, I read this card in the last video, and man, this is a pretty wild card. Not sure if uh, I'm just behind the curve there, but that's a pretty interesting card. So especially for Commander, I wouldn't be surprised if that's kind of pricey. Uh, we got old Dino Hippo Man, and look at that epic-looking fox. She is foxy. I would definitely take her to Starbucks, but I'd make her pay. Is that wrong? That's wrong, Rudy. I can't say that. I'm sorry. Foxy's still cute. All right, Gem Razor over here, and of course, perfect with an uncommon and an uncommon. But yeah, so this has been a really wild ride, everybody, with these. And, you know, a lot of people are, you know, I think we could be having also, oh, cool, look at this. Lair Scavenger. She looks like some sort of Mad Max chickadoo. Uh, oh, it's a partner? There's partners? Where's Rudy Ben? We have partners again, like Battle Bond? Do you get the other partner? Oh, you don't get the other partner? I didn't even know that existed. Okay. Shows how much I'm keeping up. We got Jurassic Park 4 Raptor now. Uh, Great Horn and very, very cool looking cub. Love that artwork. And of course, it wouldn't be in a Coria box without the Space Godzilla Death Virus card. Every single box, you get at least one. Most of the boxes, you get two. So, yeah. Definitely a good product, everybody. Ooh, this is pretty cool. What is this? Of course, it's a Hydra. Gotta have a Hydra, right? Quartz and a Slither Wisp for a little elemental action, huh? All right, that's pretty cool. Coming through with the next Triome, Full Art Triome. We got ourselves a regular Godzilla. So box one, let's clock it in. Three, six, seven Mythics for my patron Cameron, and five Triomes. Holy smoke. So we got a lower Mythic box. So far, the average appears to be eight Mythics per uh, opening. But I tell you what, uh, five Triomes is just, you know, five Triomes in 12 packs just seems like a really high number. But... What do I know, huh? All right, here we go, folks. Let's start with box two here. We got some Hawk action. Let's see if we can pull up. Oh, those ultimatums. That artwork is just so cool. Love that artwork. Offspring's Revenge. I haven't even seen that in Shaman. Uh, beginning of combat, you turn to exile a creature and uh, create a token to copy. Except it's 1-1 one, one and gets haste. Okay. That's interesting. And another Phoenix. Boy, that's a, one of the easiest cards to get. And, of course, it wouldn't be a Coria. Without another Space Godzilla Death Virus this time, a full art fancy Monty card. So we're going to go ahead and move you over so we can start our second. So, yeah, I still can't believe how many Timmy's got hose on that uh, Godzilla card thing. That was something else. Oh, that's a Mythic. I'm sorry. Mythic number one. I'm not even, I always miss these uh, Commander Mythics there. Mythic number one, the second one. We got some ooze action. And, of course, the infamous Dream Den that ruined everybody's life. All right, very cool looking octopus. Haven't seen you in the other box. And a regular Godzilla with a regular little Lord Dracus. Okay. It's a really good product, everybody. I know, I know. There's Rudy. He's pushing the product again. Oh, Rudy said it's a bad product. He's trying to push it the other way now. Oh, jeez. All right, Titan Ape coming through. Very cool looking. Oh, I love those mythos, man. That's so cool. Just love to have those on play mats, man. And we got other Dingbat over here. And another Space Godzilla. <laughs> of course, this is our third Space Godzilla uncommon card. Who on earth thought it was going to be a good idea to invest in that? Like, who tricked everybody into that? Unbelievable, Enclave. And we got the gold Quartzwood Crasher. A little dino action there. A little XX action. And here we go. Coming through with another Apex of Wishes for Mythic number two. Very, very wild. King of the Cosmos. That is a wild looking... Holy smokes, look at that thing. Alright, for Mythic number three. So we're starting out here about the same as before. Uh, this time, no Triome so far. Alter. Uh, we got Foxy Rudy again. Another beautiful, a lot of, goodies, a lot of foil uh, rare Mythos. Hope you're looking for that card, uh, Cameron. Alright, and uh, another Apex of the Hunt for the comic book style. And Baby Man and Sharknado coming through. Um, hmm. All right, so box two feels a little bit uh, kind of on the uh, normal side here. Nothing exotic. All right, Arcane Retriever. That's a crazy-looking hound for the Mythic. We got Death's Oasis. Ooh, ooh, spicy. Apex of the Hunt. Foil Mythic. Wow, okay. It's kind of weird when you see the regular versions because you're so used to the other ones. You just don't see it that much. It kind of catches you off guard. Um, wow. So I, I just can't believe these are holding price, everybody. Like, I just cannot believe the prices of these... Some of those Godzilla cards are holding as high as they are. And I haven't opened any of the regular boxes yet. 
And uh, pretty soon I'm going to do, I'm actually still considering doing some Theros regular openings. People have been asking me for that. Um, and I want to actually see the difference. Maybe I'm getting a kind of a skewed perception just opening collector boxes. Dawn Waker, Elemental Foxy. We got Foxy for box topper action. And here we go, folks. Here comes our first, yeah, our first Triome of box two. Wow. Okay. I just realized that. Well, maybe the Triome, maybe I just got lucky on the other boxes with a whole lot of Triomes. Maybe I'm wrong about the Triomes tanking. Maybe it just happened to open a ton in the boxes. Another little, uh, very cool looking, what, Mad Max crazy chick. We got big old Sharky. Another, holy crap. It's like our fourth foil rare mythos, man. Holy smokes, that's a lot. Whoa! Who? Narset! Coming through with Spider-Man in the 70s. What are you doing? I have not even seen this card. All right, how have I? Wow. Is this like the, what is this, the fourth video? So I've opened eight, nine, ten boxes of this set, and I haven't even seen that. Holy crap! That's pretty sweet. Look at that planeswalker. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I was like, they put in the right pile. Oh man, that's kind of cool. Man, really shows you really got to really see every little thing. You got to open quite a bit. All right, we got old Dingbat, huh? I didn't even realize the uh, regular artwork Dingbat. How how different this thing looked. Wow, didn't even recognize that thing. All right, majestic. And here we go, Triome action again. And here we go for these. I don't know. You guys really think these like full like Godzilla dudes are gonna hold a lot of money? I just oh my god. Oh, what a pack. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, Copper Coat Outcast, Planeswalker. This time, full art and the foil variant. Holy smokes. Okay. Okay, so we're not getting as many Triumphs and Mythics in this box. But man, we're getting some spicy ones. Ozolith, haven't seen you today. Up, oh, Sharknado coming through. Foil rare. Love the artwork. Love the artwork. And another... Oh, my goodness. Another Copper Coat. This is a weird op. So the last three mythics are all planeswalkers. This is Cameron, your box too. This is just a strange collector box, everybody. This is definitely more of an awkward one. Love that Bonders ornament artwork. Very, very cool looking piece. Felidar. And we got an extinction event over here. Choose odd or even. Uh, how do you guys feel about that? More of a DD dice rolling odd even stuff. What do you guys think about that kind of thing? Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I kind of like some of that stuff, but I haven't seen a lot of dice rolling odd even type stuff in Magic. Here we go. Cub Warden, and of course, we got Mr. Godzilla, King of the Monsters, for our next Mythic. So here comes the Mythics. I think we started here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. We're at 10 Mythics. So it looks like we're going to end the video around maybe 10 or 11 Mythics. That's, uh, that's pretty high, everybody. Uh, Elemental Otter. Okay. I don't even remember that Commander card yet. Another Extinction event here. Coming through, ooh, box topper, Titan Ape. This is one I have not seen. That's spicy looking. All right. And Rudy in about next month. There's Rudy next year. And here we go again. Triome number three for the video. Ending on a Godzilla there. So not, box two was an interesting one. That was a very abnormal one. Very low on the Triomes. No regular version Triomes. No foiled versions of any kind. But a ton of Mythics. And really strange on the Planeswalkers there. That was kind of a weird twist, but... Anyways, uh, some of the video today, news of today, everybody, is definitely going to be, uh, these prices either have to come down, or these boxes need to go to 250 300 for the market to hit equilibrium, and uh, as of right now, I'm still going to place my bet where I think uh, the single cards are going to road lower, and the box prices will hold steady. I don't think it's going to be the other way around, but we will find out, and if I'm wrong, I will let you all know. As always, thanks for watching. I appreciate the honor and privilege to entertain everybody. Have a fantastic day.